Coxiella bernathi is an obligate intracellular bacterial pathogen, and is the causative agent of Q fever. The genus Coxiella is morphologically similar to Rickettsia, but with a variety of genetic and physiological differences. C. Bernathy is a small gram-negative bacterium that is highly resistant to environmental stresses such as high temperature, osmotic pressure, and ultraviolet light. These characteristics are attributed to a small cell variant form of the organism that is part of a biphasic developmental cycle, including a more metabolically and replicatively active large cell variant form. It can survive standard disinfectants, and is resistant resistant to many other environmental changes like those presented in the phagolysosome. History and naming. Research in the 1920s and 1930s identified what appeared to be a new type of rickettsia, isolated from ticks, that was able to pass through filters. The first description of what may have been Coxiella bernathi was published in 1925 by Hideo Noguchi, but since his samples did not survive, it remains unclear as to whether it was the same organism. The definitive descriptions were published in the late 1930s as part of research into the cause of Q fever, by Edward Holbrook Derrick and McFarlane Burnett in Australia, and Harold Rycox and Gordon Davis at the Rocky Mountain Laboratory in the United States. The RML team proposed the name Rickettsia diaphorica, derived from the Greek word for having the ability to pass through filter pores, to avoid naming it after either Cox or Davis if indeed Nogusi's description had priority. Around the same time, Derek proposed the name Rickettsia bernathi, in recognition of Barnett's contribution in identifying the organism as a Rickettsia, as it became clear that the species differed significantly from other Rickettsia, it was first elevated to a subgenus named after Cox, Cox Yella, and then in 1948 to its own genus of the name, proposed by Cornelius B. Philip, another RML researcher. Cox Yella was difficult to study because it could not be reproduced outside a host. However, in 2009, scientists reported a technique allowing the bacteria to grow in an axenic culture and suggested the technique may be useful for study of other pathogens. Pathogenesis. The ID50 is one via inhalation, I. E. Inhalation of one organism will yield disease in 50% of the population. This is an extremely low infectious dose, making C. bernathy one of the most infectious known organisms. Disease occurs in two stages, an acute stage that presents with headaches, chills, and respiratory symptoms, and an insidious chronic stage. While most infections clear up spontaneously, treatment with tetracycline or docycycline appears to reduce the symptomatic duration and reduce the likelihood of chronic infection. A combination of erythromycin and rifampin is highly effective in curing the disease, and vaccination with with QVAX vaccine is effective for prevention of it. The bacteria use a type IVB secretion system known as ICM. to inject effector proteins called ANC proteins into the host. These effectors increase the bacteria's ability to survive inside the host cell. In Legionella pneumophila, which uses the same secretion system and also injects ANC proteins, survival is enhanced because these ANC proteins Proteins interfere with fusion of the bacteria containing vacuole with the host's degradation endosomes, used as a biological weapon. The United States ended its biological warfare program in 1969. When it did, C. Bernathy was one of seven agents it had standardized as biological weapons. Genomics At least five completely sequenced genomes of Cox yellow Bernetti exist, which contain about 2.1 MBP of DNA each and encode around 2,100 open reading frames. 746 of these genes have no known function. In bacteria, small regulatory RNAs are activated during stress and virulence conditions. Cox yellow bernathy small RNAs are encoded within intergenic region. 
CBS RS 2, 3, 4 and 9 are located antisense to identified ORFs. The CBS RS are upregulated during intracellular growth in host cells. Additional images